and welcome back to Mega Mechatronics. Today we're going to look at building a twin charger and you all need to chill out. So we're going to chill out in this episode because we're going to do some cooling mods. We're going to do some upgrades here. Uh, this picture, picture is showing the turbo only. So this is after I built the engine. I went to turbo only, but uh, it was fairly easy the way I set it up to switch over to the twin charger after I break in the engine and make some glory runs on the dyno. But be sure to stick around after this episode for part number four. We're going to look at the many different twin charger combinations, combinations that are out there that are proven, as well as the turbo blower popular one is where we're really going to deep dive into the turbo blower. But we will look at some of these other systems. So stick around. Mega Mechatronics. Here's the car in the original form that I got it. Well, the tubing and the turbo kit. You can see some rubbing action at the turbo outlet. You can see how it's kind of smashed against the valve cover. Here's the LSJ supercharger intake versus the LE5 plastic intake. Doing a mock up here, kind of proof of concept. And you see the problem is the throttle body of the supercharger is inside the firewall. So that is why I have this super tight radius three inch donut here. So that's how you can get a super tight radius. And the reason I'm, I'm doing that is because I want this air to water intercooler to go between the radiator and the engine up front. So I need to swoop the uh, tube around. And here is the upgraded radiator. This is for a V8 engine. So if you're going to make V8 power with a four cylinder, it makes sense to get a V8 radiator. Here's a Honda Civic. I'm using this as a heat exchanger for the intercooler system, but this is an engine radiator for a Honda Civic, Del Sol, etc. Uh, looks like D-series engine. And now here we are comparing the upgraded radiator with the stock radiator and just look at the difference here with the thickness of the cores. And we'll do some more comparisons, but enjoy the video. And remember, this is all build to fit. You can see how I need to tilt this radiator forward to make some room. It's too tall, number one, and I need to fit that water to air intercooler in front of it.
So this oil cooler, it's floating in space. So what you want to do is mock it up like I did here and start making the brackets around it. It's build to fit, totally custom. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, it really helps. Thank you.